Hey y'all, welcome back to Krista's Kitchen. So our Misfits box just arrived. Um, we get the Madness box each time, which is the larger box. It's the one that's 18 to 22 pounds. Now remember, there is a smaller one, so this seems daunting. You don't have to get this much. Um, but this one is $35 a box. And it's all organic. It's, uh, it's ugly or misshapen produce, things like that, but it should never be rotten or um, or bad. Nothing that you're gonna get that's like not good for. It. If you do, then their customer service is amazing and they'll fix anything. But that's their goal is not to send you rotten foods. Just things that might look not the most pretty to go to the grocery store and everything, which I'm perfectly fine with. But um, it saves me a trip from having to go to the grocery store. Plus gets us to try some new foods and brings organic foods into our home. Um, and saves a little bit of money too, so it's pretty awesome. But um, I had had some trouble. I'm not sure if it was my last box or the box before. I was not too keen on that box, and um, I messaged them and let them know. Now I'm not one to stir trouble or try and do anything like that. Um, but things like my hot chocolate was not what I expected it to be. Um, I was missing a few items. Some of my items, like several of them, were damaged. Whether it was, I think it was really poorly packaging because the shipping company, like the box, was in good condition, all of that. Um, but I messaged them and let them know, and Misfits very much handled it. Um, they gave me, they gave me a rate that I was happy with, and I thought was very comparable to the mistakes. So, I, like I said, I don't like contacting customer service for companies. I don't like ever having to do that. But it was wonderful that whenever I did, they, they handled the issue. So, I, um, which I wasn't going to cancel for just that one incident anyway because I love my Misfits. Um, this is like my favorite box to get and my kids' favorite box. Um, but I did kind of feel burned on the marketplace because I had spent about like I think it was like $52 or something in the marketplace and I just did not feel like it was at that um, I got the value for it but they very much took care of things and helped me feel like they wanted to make it right so this time I ordered four things out of the marketplace even though I said I wasn't going to they had some extra add-on things in there that caught my eye so I added them on but I'll put those separate so y'all can see what is actually from the box and what is from the marketplace. But packaging looks really good. And it always comes with some kind of biodegradable insulation. So this time it's got this brown puffy stuff. And then our cardboard liners just to keep things separate. And an ice pack. Now like I said last time, um, almost every time I've got, every time except for this last one, I've gotten a box. It had the ice packs in it, but it doesn't bother me if the materials in here don't need an ice pack, don't waste it. And definitely don't add to their shipping costs. Like, that's just silly in my mind. Um, so that didn't bother me. But this one, I guess they said, does need it. But right on top is our, um, little cherry tomatoes. And these are always a favorite of ours. We got those. Now this I'm super happy about. I had ordered, I so I customize my box. Each time it says that we can, um, I try and get on and customize it. And this was something I did not get in my last order. But I ordered it again for this time. So these are the beefsteak tomatoes. Now they are looking pretty soft. So I'll need to probably slice these tonight or tomorrow and use those up but i'm glad i finally got my beefsteak tomatoes i see another little thing of cherry tomatoes in here again very happy for that so our little oranges now i add, i think i added these on so i should have five in here total so we're going to set those separate some ginormous jalapeno peppers very happy about that. Um, I have a recipe that I want to make that I made at Thanksgiving. I'm going to repeat it and make it again. It's a cranberry jalapeno relish. It's so good. 
Uh, let's see. We got some more beefsteak tomatoes. So let's see how these look. And these are soft also. Um, they're not molding or anything, but they definitely need to be used up very quickly. Now, let's see. Ooh, we have another jalapeno. Now, I did not order... Yeah, this is collards. I did not order collards, so they must have substituted something in here for the collards. We'll have to see. But those are humongous. I size of my head. I think I saw... Yeah, we got another one in here, too. So, I'm wondering if they substituted my kale for this, these collards, which is funny because a lot of people say they get a lot of kale, and I actually love my kale. Another, another huge jalapeno. Let's see, oh, here's my green kale, and a random leaf, so, the, and this kale looks beautiful. Like, not wilting or anything, that, those collard greens look good too, but just not something I had ordered which maybe they just knew I needed to try something else out of my range. And some more kale. Again, looks really good. So, and there's a, that's another thing. Sometimes the produce we get isn't necessarily because it's ugly or misshapen or anything. Sometimes it's because they're big for what they think or small for what the grocery store is looking for or there's a surplus of it. So if the grocery stores only need like 30,000 pounds and you've got 40 that's 10,000 that you've got they've got to find something to do with so Sometimes it can be from things like that, too So did I order cilantro? I think I added this on um, Probably so because I need cilantro for this um, for my uh, my cranberry relish dip and then another little one those actually look really good. Yay. So I know I added on garlic. I don't know. I thought I'd add it on a couple, which they may be in the bottom of this. Oh, there's my other two oranges. And my garlic. Now I know I added on the cranberries because they're cranberries for the organic are about the same price, if not cheaper, than the regular cranberries in my grocery store that aren't organic. So this was an add-on also. Another jalapeno pepper. My little baby spaghetti squash. This is cute. And again, this is one's probably because it's smaller, but cooks up just the same. Here's my other garlics. Now, my son was obsessed with the kiwi last time we got it, so that was one that I chose to put on this box again. Now, this is pretty funny. This is my daikon radish. Very phallic looking, but, and it's broken, which this is probably a packaging issue, but it doesn't bother me. I'm going to cut it and chop it up anyway. But if you have some recipes for this, let me know. This is going to be something new. Um, I like to add on different things for us to try. This kind of outside of my comfort zone. So if you have recipes for this, send them my way. Because I have no clue what I'm doing with it yet. But I was excited to try something new. And then some more kiwi. And some little acorn squash. Now, one reason I love choosing squashes in the mix of all of this is these last longer. So I try to balance stuff that I'm going to need to use up very quickly, like the kale. Um, I didn't pick the collards, but in that same concept, the tomatoes, things like that, with something heartier that's going to last throughout this week um, so that, again, I don't have to go to the grocery store. Another kiwi. Oh, Ooh, this is heavy. My Napa cabbage. This thing is humongous. We'll set that right there. A little butternut squash. Um, is this a radish, a turnip? I don't know. I don't know what I chose. 
but this <laughs> and a little baby one and another one and last but not least this should be my broccoli yes these are my broccoli ninos so what I want to do let's see sometimes they put in little recipe cards and things or little information cards down in the side of it. The last couple times we haven't gotten one. And it looks like not this time either. That may be something they're trying to get away from. But let's see if I have my phone nearby me. And I'll tell y'all what exactly um, I know that this guy exchanged out for something. But the cilantro, the oranges, the garlic, and the cranberries were all add-ons for me. Let me grab my phone and see what got substituted. Because one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Um, hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Only thirteen items. Hmm. We're supposed to get be guaranteed fourteen items for our um, 14 varieties. So let's see. I'm gonna pull up my Misfits box and see. Sorry y'all, I hate being on my phone. Uh, but I wanna show y'all exactly what we had actually ordered. And we'll get locked in. Now, there's also a coupon code that I'll leave down in the description box that will tell y'all um, if you want to try it, it'll give you 25% off of your uh, first box. Let's see. So, I had ordered... So this is curly kale. So I bet you this is replacing the Tuscan kale. And then we've got beefsteak tomatoes, acorn squash, kiwi, curly kale, broccoli ninos, spaghetti squash, butternut squash, daikon radish, jalapenos. So the cilantro is actually on my regular order. So that makes 14. And then Napa cabbage. And then my grape tomatoes. And this, these are rutabagas. Again, I couldn't remember what I ordered. <laughs> but for, oh, so I'm missing my watermelon rashes. So for my add-ons was cranberries, garlic, oranges, and I had added watermelon radishes, which are not here. Um, I'll slice through this and make sure that's not a watermelon radish. But uh, $2 for one, I don't think so. Um, here, let's see. Out of curiosity. It is. So I got one watermelon radish for two dollars. That doesn't work for me. But um, maybe I should stop ordering from the marketplace. Maybe that's what this lesson is about. But as far as my box goes, I'm very happy with it. Um, definitely feel like I got my money's worth for it this time. I wish they had told me they were changing out the curly kale for collard greens, but it's not a big deal. I'll try something else new and give this a go. We'll use up our tomatoes pretty quickly and a lot of this stuff will be gone within a couple of days. But if you have any questions about the Misfit boxes or you want to give it a try, just leave a comment or shoot me a message and I'll be happy to answer. Hopefully this helped you understand what Misfits is about and kind of lead you in the right direction if it's something for you or if it's something that's not. Um, if you want to see more of what we have to offer or um, see what we do with all of these vegetables, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and just come back and see what we make with it. I'll leave y'all some pictures at the end of this video to show y'all some of the things that we made with all of our vegetables from our last box too. Thank y'all for joining us and we'll see y'all next time. Bye.